Hello everybody, good afternoon. Uh, first of all, I would like to say thanks to the organization for accepting me for, to participate in this congress. It's a great honor for me to, to talk to, to this kind of audience. Uh, and I, I would like to congratulate uh, uh, say congratulations to my partners because they did it really, really well. I hope to do it well also. Uh, the name of, of, my, of my study is a study of web content analysis on cultural heritage. I come from the field of communication. I don't study education and uh, in, uh, informatic engineering, but my connection with this Congress is, is the communication and not uh, the communication in general. I study interactive communication. I mean, my uh, object, uh, my research object is internet and most specifically websites. Uh, I would like to make a brief presentation and I hope to use less than 15 minutes like uh, Dr. Garcia Peñal, Peñal said at the beginning of the session. So let's start. First of all, I would like to refer to two in very important topics uh, nowadays. One of them is tourism industry, which is probably one of the main industries, not, uh, not only in the world, but especially here in, Sp in Spain. Here, the, in the cultural industry represents nearly the 11% of the gross domestic uh, product. And uh, one of the most interesting fields on the tourism industry is the cultural tourism. The cultural tourism use the heritage to promote their values. So one of the uh, bases of my study is cultural heritage. Salamanca, for example, is a, a th city with a lot of cultural heritage. And then internet. As everybody say, uh, as everybody knows, internet is maybe the the media with uh, a growing audience, uh, with a most growing audience. I mean, uh, they uh, we we tend to use internet more and more every day. Uh, nowadays, in Spa in Spain, nearly 60% of the people surf internet daily. What I am trying to demonstrate with, with these figures, the importance to link uh, these two issues, uh, in, in one hand, the tourism industry and most co concretely cultural heritage, and in the other hand, the internet media, to, to link both issues and conceptualize the, my research project. Uh, briefly, I would like to talk about the theories uh, that I use in my doctoral thesis. First of all, the collective identity of a place or a region is connected to the cultural heritage. And the cultural heritage, as I said before, is one of the pillars, the basis of cultural tourism. The cultural tourism is also connected with the collective identity of, of a place or a region. The collective identity is one of the main concepts of the social identity theory, which is a psychological uh, theory with a, a lot of uh, years. And then the cultural heritage, I link it with the framing theory, which is one of the main theories in communication to try to distinguish, to try to select which cultural heritage features are most promoted through the websites of the municipalities. So the place or region, I mean, I, I study websites, websites of municipalities, of cities. Why? Because cities, uh, cities are, without any doubt, one of the main uh, engines to promote their own uh, heritage. It's very simple to understand. If Salamanca want, wants to uh, receive tourist, tourists, tourists, 
they should promote their heritage values, their tourism uh, features throughout the internet, which is a, a widely used media nowadays. Websites, I, I study the, the content which is related to social identity theory and framing theory, and also the design. But briefly, I mean, I, I am trying to measure some features or, uh, related to aesthetics, information archi architecture, and usability. So, I, I have two main objectives. The first one is to identify that elements of the cultural heritage which are uh, further transmitted through municipal websites and, try and, and also trying to quantify the approaches which are given to these uh, features. I mean, a local, uh, for example, uh, uh, if, 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 you, if uh, we can read uh, a lot of things about the cultural activities uh, where Salamanca uh, promote, like the International um, Festival of Music, on the, the municipal um, uh, library feria, uh, so we can we can identify the approaches, local or global or national, which are given to these features, cultural features. And second, I would like to observe the main design features to detect patterns in the way that this this. A cultural heritage are transmitted more, more uh, synthetically content and design and interplay between the main aspects of a website as everybody knows. The method that I, I've used is when web content analyze. Uh, first of all, uh, content analyze is one of the uh, main research, research techniques in communication and in social uh, sciences in general. Uh, it allows us to discover the DNA of the messages, to analyze the messages, something in which I'm very interested. The steps of the process, the main steps uh, regarding Macmillan, are five. First of all, propose research questions, then select the sample. <coughs> Third, define the categories. Four, analyze the content and check the reliability of the process, and finally interpret the data obtained. Uh, research uh, questions. I've uh, thought about four research questions. The, 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 uh, the, the first and the second are directly related with the content. The first one related with the elements of the heritage, and the second one with the approach of the uh, cultural heritage. Uh, as I said before, local, national, global, then the, third, the, the three, the three uh, research questions tries to uh, see if, the, if they are differences between the different regions of this country. As everybody uh, knows, Spain uh, is uh, integrated by 17 uh, autonomic communities. And I'm very interested in detect differences between the different regions of the country. For example, if Castilla y León uh, tries to uh, communicate their cultural heritage more than, for example, Andalucía, Galicia, País Vasco, etc. And finally, the fourth research question uh, is related with the design uh, of, the, of the websites in terms of appear, uh, aesthetics, information architecture, and usability. The sample of contents. We, we thought that it would be interesting to have a, la a large sample, and we decided to identify, to select, select 500 mu municipal websites. The, the sample strategy was multi-stage. I mean, we need uh, three steps to reach the final sample. First of all, we stratified the universe, uh, I mean, all of the municipalities or cities of our country, we stratified them by provinces. In, <coughs> in Spain, we have a total of 15. Then, one critical case of each province was selected intentionally 
Which one? Obviously, the website of the capital, because it's the most representative one, the most popular uh, often. No? And then, at, uh, randomly selected more n nine more provincial websites, but with, with a very important uh, aspect. The, the websites of that uh, municipalities, or, uh, sorry, the municipalities that have, have that websites should have more than 1,000 inhabitants because if the village is less than 1,000 inhabitants, we thought that it won't be very representative. So, the, with our sample of 500 municipal websites, we reach to a population of more than 43% uh, of the Spanish population. Then, the step three is the code book. The code book is the main tool of the uh, content analyze. They, in, in, the content, in the code book, we try to specify the variables, the items, which we are interested in. Uh, our code book consists of uh, 129 items related to the two dimensions of the website that I mentioned before, content and design. In terms of the content, we were interested in general information, heritage information, and tourism information in general. And then in design terms, aesthetics, information architecture, and usability. The coding process was undertaken by four analysts uh, who, who were previously trained in that method, methodology. The coding period was since February to April, so we, we already have done the, the coding. It was necessary to devote a lot of hours in the analyze because the sample is large and analyzing a website is a hard uh, task. So about 27 minutes on average for each website. Uh, you have to think that the website of Madrid obviously is not the same as the website of Salamanca or the website of my village. The dimension of a website depends a lot of the population of the, of the village or the municipality. Then we check the intercoder reliability. This process tries to, uh, to know if the analysts, in our case, four analysts, tend to uh, evaluate in the same way the different features. So we selected a, a, a sample of, 12, of 60 websites, which represented the 12% of the total random, to check that uh, intercoder re reliability. So we use uh, maybe the most uh, consistent uh, coefficient to check the reliability of the items, and we reach an, an average of 0.74, which indicates an acceptable reliability. It could be better, but it's an acceptable uh, figure. <coughs> and finally, the results. Uh, I have to apologize because until the moment, we don't have any result to share with us. I expect that in the, in the next year I could uh, be here to share with all of you the results of my, of my investigation. And finally, re in, uh, with regard to the contributions, we expect to make two contributions. In the theori theoretical dim dimension, we are trying to develop a conceptual uh, framework based on that uh, uh, theories that I mentioned before to diagnose approaches on cultural identities. Uh, why, not, why not to uh, translate or transport this investigation to other contexts? Uh, we, we have worked the Spanish context, but I'm, full, I'm sure that we can do this investigation in other countries to try to, to identify the patterns of the diffusion of the cultural heritage in other places. And then, finally, with, uh, re in regard with the methodolog methodological contribution, it's not very often, especially in the Spanish context, 
to make a, a protocol in a way of a st strategic, systematic, objective, and quantitative uh, protocol to a large se uh, se uh, se sorry, se uh, representative sample. I mean, here in Spain, the most uh, investigations I've read, I've checked, use uh, purposive samples, which means that they uh, don't, they don't uh, use, they don't work uh, large uh, samples like in our case. We thought that it, it could be a, a, a good methodological contribution. And finally, I would like to thank the Historical Heritage Foundation of Castilla León, eh, es decir, la Fundación del Patrimonio Histórico de Castilla y León, because eh, this foundation is supporting economic, economically this eh, investigation. And that's all. Eh, thank you very much.